So this is uh, this was interesting. I, I asked for people 30 years old and younger to take pictures of their system. All kinds of systems. Headphone, desktop, DIY, tube, solid state, lots and lots of turntable based systems. Um, more women than usual showed up. Uh, ages ranged from 11 years old to 30. Now that's pretty cool. That's younger than I thought I would get, right? So, but there was the 11 year old and then there was some 14 year olds and 15 and 16. So that was fantastic. And they had nice systems, by the way. So anyway, let's get to this. And by the way, this is only part one. Part two will show up a few days later. And once it's up, I will link to it right there. But anyway, let's get to this gear fest <laughs> right now. We're going to start. Yeah, we'll start now with Ashley, 23 years old, hunkered down in Australia, and they have a Lenko 75 base PTP4 turntable with Fidelity Research arms. The Phono Pre is tubes for hi-fi, pH 16. The amp is a DIY EL84 ultra linear amp making 2.6 watts. The speakers are DIY coaxials based on the Japanese Tannoy Kaneta cabinet from 40 years ago. There's a 15 inch coaxial driver in there. Very nice. Andrew was 28 years old and is fortunate enough to have a loving wife who lets him get these nice things like Klipsch Heresy 4s, a Denon PMA 600 NE amp, and new this week, Fluence, a Fluence RT85 turntable. For headphones, he uses AKG K7XX with a Shit Asgard Loki and a Manny coming this week. Daniel is a 26 year old electrician. He's from Canada, and this is his main two channel system that features, are you ready? 1978 Alltech Model 19s he purchased when they were still semi affordable. <laughs> There's also a subwoofer in this system, a SU UL 15 incher. But he says it struggles to keep up with the Altex because the Altex are so darn efficient. For amps, he uses a Fidelity XP200 in bridge mode, 260 watts. For preamp DSP, he uses a mini DSP DDRC88A running DRAC room correction. Uh, he thinks it's a little controversial, but he likes what it does. The DAC he currently uses is an AudioQuest Dragonfly Black 1.5. Next up, another Klipschman, 28-year-old Victor, and he has 1985 Klipsch Heresy 1s, a Pioneer VSX 1021 receiver, favorite over his Sansui 4000 for his wife's convenience. Uh, there's also a Klipsch RC10 center channel, Atlantic Technology, 272 p.m. subwoofer, 12-inch sub, and then there's a Pioneer PL200 turntable with an Ortofon Omega cartridge. Peter just turned 20 and he's a sophomore in college. He's running Technics SB C700 speakers. I really love those speakers. Uh, subwoofer is a Velodyne F1000B servo amp. The amp pictured is a Denon DR800H. The turntable is a Technics SL1200 Mark II with an Ortofon 2M Red. Phono preamp is a Shit Manny. The deck is a Topping D10S. And there's DIY cables and lots of acoustic room treatment that he made himself. Jody. Jody is a, Jody is a 29-year-old audiophile from the Netherlands. And he's listening to Meze Empyrean headphones. Planar Magnetics, phenomenal headphone. And also Sennheiser HD 580 Precision. Those are really old headphones. I have them actually, really good. Um, a Shit Bifrost 2, a Shit Jotunheim 2, and a Felix Audio Euphoria Mark II headphone amplifier. That thing must be amazing. Got a lot of respect for that company. Yannick, he's a 28 year old math teacher in the UK. Uh, this is a temporary setup, he says. There's a funky looking Morden Short MS700 speakers from the late 60s with Decca ribbon horn tweeters, Celestian 4 inch mids, Fane, I don't know what that is, 12 inch woofers in an infinite baffle with a modified crossover. He also has a Cambridge CXA60 used as a preamp and a DAC, a Quad 405 2 power amp 
which he modified to be less noisy, a Revolver Rebel turntable, TX CD player, and still to be fixed, a Pioneer M22 amp. Uh, that's 30 watts channel, pure Class A. Marcus is a 20-year-old student from Germany. For his desktop system, he's rocking with a pair of Sennheiser HD 700s. Those headphones don't get enough respect. I'm glad you like them. And also Focal Leija. I think I'm mangling that pronunciation, of course. They are powered by SMSL M300 DAC and an SMSL SP200 amp. For loudspeakers, he has a pair of Newbert New Vero 60s paired with a Klipsch subwoofer. For power, he's got a Yamaha AS701 integrated amp, and his turntable is a Project Essential 2. Skylar is 21 years old. For turntable, he's got a Sony PSX50. The speakers, whoa, check out these speakers. Polk Monitor 7As. These, those are vintage, phenomenal speakers. They made that company's name, that and the 10A, Monitor 10A. Very important speakers in the history of audio. The amp is a Kenwood KA7100. And on the shelf, there's a Monoprice Monolith XL. Ray's 27 years old, and he has a Hi-Fi Turtle YouTube page and also an Instagram page. This is a picture of his system with a turtle uh, poorly photoshopped in, he says. He, in the system, he's running Focal Kanta 2 speakers, a Hegel H20 power amp, Benchmark DAC 3L, uh, Blue Sound No2 streamer, diffusion panels are Vicoustic DC2 multifusers, the bass traps are 8 feet by 2 feet by 6 inches that he made himself, and the rack he also made. Nice. Alexander has been experimenting with speaker placement lately, and uh, he's heard some nice upgrades from that. <clears throat> his system is his humble, he calls it a humble system, I don't know about that. His speakers are Mission 782s. They're being powered by an Onkyo integrated A9010, and he has AKG K701 headphones. Kasumbor, I think that's how you pronounce your name. If I mangle that, I apologize. He's 19 years old, and he's from Hungary. He's been into music, hi-fi, and vinyl since he was born. Nice. Uh, the system consists of, and I'm just showing one part of a system, the Thorin's TD-160 Mark II, and I had that table, well, the Mark I version, back when it was new. But he also has a Philips CD player and a Sony amp and name audio intro speakers. Thanks for that. Gerald is 18, and he sent this email all the way from Singapore, uh, and he says he loves my channel. Thank you very much. He mostly streams music. And the speakers are Fluence AI40s. The DAC amp is a FIO K5 Pro. Headphones are Hi-Fi Man Mastrop 4XX. And the IEMs are AKG N30 and Westone UM30s. Marius is a Marius is a 21-year-old student from Germany, and this is his stereo system, which consists of an Onkyo A7040 integrated amp. An Onkyo T4040 tuner, yikes, and an Onkyo TA2050 cassette deck. Cool. These are from the 70s, and he picked them out of the trash, as well as a Palladium NSP5000 turntable and a pair of 1980s Quadral Montan loudspeakers. This is Justin, and he's sporting Odyssey LCD headphones, the big ones. And what you don't see is his Wu Audio WA7 Fireflies headphone amp, which is very beautiful, and a Topping D50 and a blue microphone. Thanks for that. Jesse is a 27-year-old philosophy student who digs jazz, hip-hop, and obscure electronic and some rock. Here is his system. And this is, uh, the speakers are, um, shall we say, unusual? I'd love to hear them, actually. They're Cantuck 15-inch open baffle speakers, and he calls them life-changing. A Vista Audio Spark amp, Project RPM 9.2 turntable with a Sumiko cartridge. Uh, there's a Consonance Opera PM1 tube phono stage. And not pictured is an AudioQuest Dragonfly Cobalt DAC. 
Kyle is a 16-year-old audiophile. His father buys most of his stuff, so he says he's very lucky, and I would agree. Because he's got some pretty cool speakers. Uh, he's got Vienna Acoustic Mozart Grands. Uh, the amplifier is a Cambridge Audio Azure 640 integrated. The DAC is an SM SL M100 that he recently had a Meridian DAC. Victoria is 14 years old. System consists of an Audio Technica LP60 turntable, Sony STR DE898 receiver, BMW 607S2 Anniversary Edition speakers, and also a BMW ASW600 subwoofer. Stefan is sporting a Topping A90 amp, Topping D70S DAC. Canto YU4 speakers and the headphones are very serious headphones. They're Sennheiser HD800S as his primary headphone. Jack is 28 years old and he's running an Audio Technica ATLP5 turntable, Pioneer BDP51D, a Marantz CD6005, a Musical Fidelity M6SI. Audio Lab 6000M, Yamaha RXA 1030, I assume that's an amp. The rack is a Fasul, uh, hi fi rack, it's modular, and there's a PSB Sub Series 1 Sub SVS Prime Center speaker, and Monitor Audio, Bron <laughs> and Monitor Audio Bronze BX6 floor standards. Nicholas is a humble audiophile. That's how he describes himself. He's 26 years old. He has a shit Mati 3, a shit Valhalla 2 with stock tubes, and a pair of Sennheiser HD 600s. Um, but he's, he's going places. He's got a lot of vinyl, and he's going to have, or does have, a shit soul uh, turntable on order with an extra tone on him. He's getting into it, big time. Enjoy. Jacoby is, Jacoby is the 11 year old I refer to in the introduction. So I'm pleased to present his picture here. He says he and his father like watching my show. He says he likes my glasses. <laughs> his father uses my shirts to adjust the color on his projector. Yikes. And then Jacoby says he's weird. Well, I can't say that. Tim uh, describes his setup as very cramped. But he's got the he's got choice stuff going on there, including an Abyss Dianify headphone, benchmark HPA4 amp, Matrix X Saber DAC, Orlic Aries GI streamer, and some other stuff, a reclocker, blah 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 blah, and a PS Audio Stellar power plant conditioner. Ali is 29 years old and he's uh, located in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. The preamplifier is a passive unit, very cool. And the amp, wow, look at those amps. They are Audio Research 610T monoblocks. I couldn't lift those even when I was younger. Um, the DAC is a Denifreps Aries II that he purchased after I reviewed it. Thank you for that. Um, the Phono preamplifier is an Audio Research Reference Phono II. Turntable is an Audio Technica LP5X. The speakers are pretty darn serious. They're Wilson Audio Sabrinas, and uh, that must be a hell of a system. Mark is 29 years old, and this is his humble system, as he puts it. There's an Audio Technica LP120 turntable, a JVC RX206 receiver, and the speakers are vintage, I would say. They're Fisher DS152s. So from here on, I am going to continue to show pictures, but without my comments. So just there to, uh, for your perusal and enjoyment. And yes, if you are 30 over, so remember, if you're over 30 years old, now's your chance. Start snapping your pictures, clear pictures, nice pictures. Send them to, and I will link to it below, audiophiliac at mail.com. So two, two, picture, two JPEGs per email is the magic number. Don't send a lot of emails, by the way. Please don't do that. Anyway, well, let's look at what we got coming up here. And uh, this is only part one. Come back for part two in a couple of days.